and welcome back. It's day six of National Curry Week. Um, we thought today, I mean we've already done the myths and things, we thought we'd have a look at chilies and some of the um, misconceptions about uh, chilli and the effect it has on your stomach and your rear end. A lot of jokes about it. I won't go into here because I'm a lady. Um, but um, the, the main uh, ingredient people seem to uh, fix on in, in chilli uh, in um, curry, sorry, is chilli. So we thought we'd have a look and see. So, um, yes, yeah, chilies have been around or uh, domesticated for about 6,000 years. They were first domesticated in Mexico, although the, uh, the widest diversity of chilies are from Peru. Uh, India nowadays is the biggest producer of chilli. Uh, it only arrived there in the 16th century, so they bought up pretty quickly. Uh, and most of it comes from the Andhra Pradesh region, which provides 30% of the chilies uh, produced in India. Um, chili itself is so varied, there are thousands of different varieties, ranging from uh, no burn to horrendous burn. So uh, if you go to, happen to go to Mexico, you're lucky enough to, you might well end up with a jalapeno sandwich, which is purely just chilies in a sandwich. Uh, they think nothing of it, and we probably collapse with tears and so on, and I've actually experienced it. So it's not the actual fruit itself that uh, causes you the trouble. No. Um, the, the trouble that you get with the, the so-called deli belly, upset stomachs and things, um, can be uh, attributed uh, mainly to badly cooked spices when the spices haven't been cooked through and uh, you get the uncooked raw spices that uh, react with your stomach. And then there's also um, the, uh, the Bacillus cereus. Now, a lot of people who have um, tummy troubles after having a curry probably have suffered from this. Rice has, um, is, is a, a, an ideal food source for a particularly nasty uh, bacteria called Bacillus cereus. Um, also it has a huge surface area so the uh, bacteria grows really quickly at body temperature. So if the rice has been badly stored, it's been kept um, warm um, in a dangerous way, the very centre of the rice pot will be at sort of like blood, that sort of body temperature which means that the bacteria is really um, been thriving in there. And when it hits your stomach, within 20 minutes, you can be uh, visiting the bathroom. Make sure it's probably heated through. Yeah, make sure that, watch the rice, always watch the rice. As far as the heat in chili, um, a German chemist um, called Scoville uh, devised um, a heat test, and um, it's called the Scoville scale, um, and it was, uh, beginning of the 20th century, I think he, he brought that, that the scale of, of measurement in. And just to put some of the, the chilli uh, that we eat into sort of the range, pure capsaicin, that is, you know, sort of like the really concentrated pure capsaicin, if you ate chilli that was just pure capsaicin. Reduced it would be, to the liquid form. The, yeah, reduced to the liquid form. It would be 16 million Scoville units. So, working up through, how, what's that mean? Okay, so a, a red bell pepper, you know, the caps, capsicums that you use um, sort of in your stir fries and things that are sweet, um, has zero. It doesn't have the Scoville um, heat units. Jalapenos, put my glasses on for this, um, can range, it depends, between 2,500 to 8,000. Great for your fajitas. Fantastic fajitas. Um, and you can get them in little jars, really handy. Bird's eye, there's the little wicked ones, uh, used a lot in Thai and Malaysian cooking. Um, 100,000 to 225,000. Um, and again, in the same range, the habanero uh, from South America, um, probably one of the, the fathers of, of the chilies that we use today uh, in Europe. Uh, and then we come up to the Naga Viper, which was actually produced first in England. The grower in England developed it, and that's 1.4 million. And then the Butjalokia, which is a native of Bengal, I believe. 
Bangladesh, um, 1.58 million, um, and used as a weapon, I believe, as well, yeah? Tear gas. Tear gas, things like that. Um, and then, the, the hottest at the moment, unless, of course, there's somebody out there just developed one uh, within the last couple of days, is the Carolina Reaper. Uh, obviously, from its name, it's from Carolina in the United States, and it's 2.2 million units. Uh, so, they've still got a way to go to the 16 million, but they're out there working at it. Also, uh, Chile does have tremendous beneficial effects. Uh, a lot of people think of it as just something that burns your mouth. It, uh, it should never burn your throat. If it does, it just means the spices aren't cooked properly. Uh, it is a tremendous help to arthritis, all forms of arthritis, to things like headaches, menstrual pains, even mastectomies, as I'm told. Uh, and a recent Chinese study has suggested that eating chilli on a regular basis, say twice or three times a week, can reduce mortality by 10%. So there are lots of benefits uh, for the uh, downside. Well, the only downside is, is the, uh, the chilli burn on the lips. Yeah, so uh, next time you have a, a little bit of an upset tummy after your curry, think about all the other things it could be. It could be uncooked spices, especially things like uh, the, the, the seeds and pods and things. If they're left, like coriander seeds, uh, card cumin, they... In storage, they can develop little sort of moulds and things. If they're not cooked off properly, if they're not developed properly, uh, they can upset. And the rice, watch that rice. Don't reheat rice or keep rice too long because it, that can be very dangerous. So always make sure your curry is hot in heat terms, not just spice terms. And have a great rest of National Curry Week. Enjoy. And if you like this particular video thumbs up of course if you want to know more about curry week all the links and things below um, previous videos up here and um, curry week just like us love us